It may surprise you to learn that used carpet is said to last thousands of years in a landfill site before disintegrating. But one businessman has gone against the grain to push for a greener, more environmentally friendly way to make carpet. Ray Anderson has been named a hero of the environment by Time magazine. But he says that his quest is to save the planet and it's far from over. Breaking the mold is doing something outlandish and surviving. We started a company in 1973 to produce a new kind of carpet for a new marketplace. It turns out that the carpet tile has many, many advantages, especially in that office of the future. No longer did you have walls to carry the wiring the way we traditionally did, but you had the wiring in the floor and you needed immediate access to that wiring. That's where we gained our initial success. But over time, we made the very deliberate decision, we have to diversify our marketplace. And the, uh, the way we did this was going after different segments of the market, schools, hospitals, gymnasiums, retail stores. And over time, we had a very broad product offering and a very broad marketplace. We began to hear a question in the summer of 1995. What's your company doing for the environment? And we had no answers. So we, uh, we said, you know, we have to get answers. The industrial system as it operates today is a cancer on the earth. We created a plan, taking nothing from the earth that's not naturally and rapidly renewable by the earth and doing no harm to the biosphere. It was totally radical. Nylon in a landfill, they tell me, will last 20,000 years. So you want to rescue that material from the landfill and put it immediately back into use, replacing some virgin petroleum product. And that's what we're doing. Today, if we're going to a job site and it's got old carpet on it, we will take that carpet tile off the floor, we'll shave the face yarn and create what we call crumb to create a post-consumer recycle back, and we'll send the face yarn to our yarn producers and they'll recycle that back into their, their processes. Our cost are down, not up. Waste elimination alone has saved nearly $400 million over the years. Our profits are up. Our stock is up since we embarked on this journey. So we, we just hope other companies are looking, and, we, and they are. I hear it all the time that others are, are seeing what we're doing and, and being inspired by it. It's more than just our success. It's the success of an idea whose time has come. And we can create the example and other companies follow it and we'll get a multiplication effect and we will have done something that makes our existence here truly worthwhile. Anderson says that Interface has adopted what it's calling a mission zero policy. That's the company's pledge to not leave any footprint on the environment by the year 2020. So ambitious stuff and very commendable ambitions there from Ray Anderson.